I guess. <laughs> when you've lost so much, lucky is a relative term. So somebody put a heart on the brick. It's been a week since the LNU complex destroyed the beloved animal sanctuary in Petting Zoo, the Lucky Ones Ranch in Vacaville. It was also home to 911 dispatcher Tao Lei and her police officer husband, Vince Onis. Onis was away at work when Lei called him to say the flames were getting way too close. I just went into my dispatcher voice and I said, you need to come home, code three, code three now, code three. Come on, Annie. Good girl. Come on, Annie. With the help of Solano Carts, a local animal rescue group, the couple got almost all of their animals out, including three-legged sheep, Annie. Today, Annie and more than 100 of her companions are safe and well. If somebody needs some tummy bubs. On a Fairfield property, a local teacher offered as a temporary home. Just to know that we rescued all the animals out of there and got everyone safely out of there, um, with the exception of a, a, a of a cat that we're, is still missing, well, I believe is a survivor and we'll find her, um, is amazing. <laughs> Here, the couple contend to their menagerie of animals, many of them disabled or blind, each with its own story, once discarded by someone else, only to be welcomed into this family. And then you got Todd over there. The group includes Todd, who was missing for four days until he was discovered wandering alone. Now, a week later, with nearly all their animals accounted for, Tao and Vince are really starting to know they are the lucky ones. We're going to rebuild and we're going to get even better. And we're going to be able to reach out to more animals uh, uh, in need and, uh, and make sure that we live up to our promise to the ones that we have right now, that, you know, they're, it's their forever home. In Fairfield, Laura Anthony. ABC 7 News.